HAFA, Health Agents for America, we're a nonprofit trade association geared to educate um, the agents and educate the citizens of uh, Louisiana and America about the Health Care Reform Act. Today we have our first annual uh, HAFA Summit. We have over 250 agents that's come from all over Louisiana and Texas to learn and to be the expert for health care reform. It's important to know that this is a very complicated um, uh, adventure. You can go online and you're going to have a lot of things to look at and you're going to be very confused. And it's a, you need to be encouraged to use an agent. It doesn't cost anything additional to use us and we're there to help you. And we have the 20, 30 years experience and knowledge behind us. What's really cool about Hoffa is if you take a look at this book, and this is not everybody because we're missing people, but we have agents from all over Louisiana and little towns like Leesville and Ruston and Bastrop, and there's people that have traveled um, hours to come to this summit. And I just want to say I'm very proud that, that the fact that you actually came to, to learn more. Most importantly, that you're required by law to have health insurance start 1114. And there are tax penalties if you don't have health insurance. Now, a lot of people won't, if they don't catch that at the front end, they're not going to realize it until they pay their taxes in April of 2015. So they'll be facing the tax penalties for their 14, 2014 not being covered, and they'll have missed open enrollment the next year. So, I mean, really, you potentially, if you don't pay attention, could be liable for two years of tax penalties. There's going to be major chaos October 1st because a lot of people uh, are going to try to figure out just exactly how they sign up. Uh, you can use, you can go to the internet, you can go and call carriers directly, or you can call agents. I think the process of actually signing up is probably going to be pretty easy. You can get on the internet and easily sign up with a plan, but the problem with that is you may not understand what you just bought. So. Uh, me personally, I would recommend getting with someone, a licensed insurance agent, to look and, it, and not only is it easy to buy, but at least know what you're getting when your policy comes in. What about uh, penalties that uh, the public may face? Well, if you don't have insurance, there are going to be penalties uh, that will come out of your tax return, um, and it gets higher each year. The third year for not having insurance uh, starts becoming pretty steep. So. Um, if you don't have insurance, you need to look at what those penalties are going to be and see how it's going to affect you. Affect you. But a lot of times people will qualify for subsidies to help pay for the premiums, so the uh, cost in there are going to be pretty cheap. A lot of people don't realize if you do not enroll in the individual mandate, which open enrollment period is October 1st through March of 2014, you will be penalized for that. An individual penalty would be $95 for an individual, and they're not going to come and get it from you. They're going to take it out your taxes. The most important thing to do is talk to experienced local people. Uh, talking to the agents around the state, they're being certified by the federal government and trained to sell exchange-ready products. And a lot of the agents, agents I was with today, are getting additional certifications in training that they're not required to over and above that. And health insurance is very complicated. It's not as easy as shopping for a rental car, a hotel room, or something like that online. It is a complicated product. You need to talk to an experienced, qualified agent to understand and make the best decisions. I've been an insurance agent for about 25 years in this area, and I believe that the knowledge and experience with providers and carriers in our area helps me help them understand the products and the networks available in our area. How complicated a process is it going to be for individuals uh, who want to uh, obtain insurance beginning October 1st? I think it's going to be very complicated to understand the different plans and to know which carrier they might want to choose, which plan they might get help with the tax credits on, and if they want to buy up. Um, I think that even accessing the network is going to be a challenge for some. What is the value in the training that you've received? The value is definitely to be the most up to date. There's so much information out there and just to be able to have it kind of dumbed down as it pertains to my job is extremely valuable. And we get regular interaction from Rennell and the organization to keep us up to date on things. First, they got to understand it's going to be different than the norm. It's not going to be your ordinary process of finding insurance. Second is I think people need to understand that you can visit with a qualified 
insurance agent or broker, and there's no charge. They can give you a consultation free of charge and give you an idea of what the landscape is moving forward with health care reform. Now, what are the penalties uh, assessed on people that don't have insurance? Yeah, real important to know it's an individual mandate. It starts January 1, 2014. If you don't get it, you're going to get penalized for not having insurance. That's everybody in our country. So there's going to be an amount for the penalty. We think they're going to be a, a number. They may su they are subject to change, but it's real important to know if you don't have insurance, you're going to get penalized by the government. And how will that penalty take place? It's going to be on your tax return, and the penalty is really going to show up, maybe not initially, but when you do your taxes for 2014, it'll be on your tax return, and you'll have to deal with the IRS. we just like the public to know that there's a lot of options available to them um, through insurance agents, brokers, um, navigators, the insurance companies. There's a lot of information that's out there. Um, that needs to be disseminated to the people. And what would you be, be your recommendation in terms of uh, assisting people in this effort? I would um, look to people who are qualified in their professions in order to help them make the best choice for them and their families. My advice is to lean on your independent agents and consultants. Uh, there's been a need for a long time uh, for your agents and your consultants. Now as we're navigating through reform, uh, it's, it's ever so important and the demand and the job and the, the work ethic that these guys have are definitely something that need to be utilized and I can candidly say Kansas City Life does 100 percent of their business through agents and we would recommend that for anybody else that's looking in the market. I think that the benefits of, of using an experienced agent in this exchange is first of all our background knowledge of just general insurance and then of course we have been studying health care reform for the you know the last year or, or not more and Hoffa of course has provided us with, with a great amount of uh, information and this 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 resource here is just going to make us the experts and so I think with our with our just our background in general as agents and with the knowledge that we have regarding health care reform I think it's just going to paint the picture as an expert and we'll be better able to service the client. I believe that if they, uh, most of the customers that I have would go to an agent first before going on the internet and trying to buy uh, health insurance. I don't think they're going to be comfortable going on the internet and buying. They'd rather talk to someone in person to find out exactly what plans are available out there versus going on the internet themselves and trying to find out. I think the navigational purposes as far as going on the internet and finding out what is there it's not going to be as easy as Washington, D.C. believes it is. Beginning October 1st, they need to make sure they have health insurance, so they're going to be penalized as an individual. And so they need to look at their opportunities between their employer plan, if they don't have access to employer plan, look at the exchange model, or if they have government um, assistance available to them. There are subsidies that are available for individuals, uh, depending upon your uh, household income and so forth. So it, it, for most people, I think it would be advantageous uh, to look into this and, and, and acquire health insurance. I think the best way to investigate this is to go through uh, an agent or a broker that you may know or that's near you. Um, they are the experts in this and they can bring a lot of knowledge and help you kind of uh, go th get through the weeds and figure out what the best health plan for you is. There's some things that we're going to understand for that person that they may not realize. And, and, and some folks don't quite understand how the subsidies are going to impact them or they may not impact them. They may not realize that that their employer plan may be a better option for them because subsidies are not available and they may not understand the tax consequences that they have um, involved with, with their own individual program. How can an insurance agent help them? Well, help them navigate what, what, what's the best decision for them. Look at all the options, whether it's employer, whether it's exchange, if they have a government type program available to them, for, their, for them and their whole family, what, what is more cost efficient for them to give them the best, a best care and access the best health care that they have available with that particular program. This is very detailed, this is something we've been looking at for over three years now. Uh, paying attention to it the whole time. It, they, they constantly are moving the goalposts on us. Uh, so once you think you've got it nailed down, they, they change it a little bit. So it's bigger than, than, bigger than one person on the internet doing, doing the research and doing the shopping. There's a lot of intricacies. Yeah, there's going to be some basic, you know, four plan designs out there that are apples to apples comparison. 
but there's more than that available outside the exchanges, uh, you know, outside the shop, if you will. Make sure that you use an expert. Feel free to go to the Hoffa website, www.hafamerica.org. Look in your city under find an agent and find an expert there. They have come to this summit. They have taken additional classes that they didn't need to take. They've taken additional um, 10 hours today, this weekend, the, the last two days for the summit, and they are the expert, experts in healthcare reform. Hoffa agents offer free, non, uh, no obligation um, advice. They will help you with any question that, that you have. It doesn't cost anything to talk to an agent. They get paid by the insurance companies through the premiums. So it's, it doesn't cost anything additional to use an agent. If people have questions like more information, what should they do? They should go to the Hoffa website, www.hafamerica.org. There's a section that says ask a question or ask to, for a speaker. If they'd like a speaker to come talk to their church or their rotary, we'd love to come and talk to them and educate them about health care reform.